Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a lamp and shade using the revolving tool in Maya, using the EP curve tool and the revolve tool. So uh, let's begin. Uh, if you've already created your lamp, and you may have already, you can jump ahead in this video and just watch how to create the shade. Okay, but let's start. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my either my side or my front view, not the top view. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do, I'm going to pan down a little bit, maybe zoom out some. I'm going to go to Create EP Curve Tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to just click a few points. I'm going to stay to the right side of my Y axis. And maybe we have a, a round shape here. It's going to come down. And maybe it begins to widen out at the end there. Okay. And once I make my points, I'm going to press return. I'm going to come back to the perspective view here. And what I'm going to do is whenever we're working in splines, uh, we most likely would have to be on the surfaces drop down. So I'm going to change polygons to surfaces. Okay. And when we do that, we get a new menu up here. And I'm going to go to surfaces. And let's go to revolve. All right. When I revolve, I can see what it looks like. I'm going to press 5 to fill that in. <clears throat> At this point, I may want to assign a new material. Hold down right click, assign new material, I'm going to choose a blend and we're just going to choose a color. Okay. So I still have some choices here. What if I feel like maybe this uh, neck needs to go up a little bit higher. If I attach a, uh, a, a lampshade, I'm, no, I'm not going to want to see the end of the lamp. So I'm going to do that. Uh, to do that, it's got a little tricky. I'm going to try to just select my spline. You can see how I just did that. I've only selected on the spline and not the shape. Let's try to get there again. Okay. And <clears throat> I am going to hold down right click. And I can see I get my wheel of options for my spline. Now, if you're not on the spline, you'll get different options. So, and we'll get the options for the, the lamp itself. So be sure that we're select it on the spline and let's be really careful we have to hold down right click and we only get this is the the choices that we want so I want to go to control vertex and I'm able to select one of those points and use my move tool at the top here and I'm going to extend that up some okay that should be enough room now to handle the shade that I'm going to put on I can also take these points and possibly change the shape if I want to. So you have some versatility even after you've created your spline to move these around possibly. And maybe I'll do that. I can select multiple points at once and move them in. I feel like if I felt like the base needed to come down a little bit shorter. Okay. So <clears throat> from here what we need to do is, uh, if, if this spline gets moved at all, you can see it's going to affect my lamp. So we want to make the the lamp uh, free. We want to, you know, kind of uh, disconnect it from that spline. And the way we do that is we select the lamp, we go up to Edit, Delete by Type, and History. Now, when I move the lamp. You'll see, I just get rid of the spline and it's not going to get rid of my lamp. Okay, let's put the lamp back. Let's look at the lamp, the lamp shade now. The lamp shade is a little trickier. I'm going to go back to my either my front or my side view. I'm going to zoom out. And what we need to do is, we have to think about the, the y-axis here. I'm going to go to Create EP Curve Tool but the option box. And we need a linear spline, one that has no curves to create our uh, lampshade. So uh, if you felt like someone had chosen some other things and you're not sure if this is the, 
default settings, we can always reset the tool <clears throat> and then come back to select linear. I'm going to close that out. And we have to think about what the lampshade might look like as a revolved shape. So I'm going to click a point here, here, and then you can kind of see the shape that I'm going to make. Now I'm going to press enter. That was made with one, two, three, four, five, six points. I'm going to press enter. I know it looks strange, but when I take this shape and I revolve it, so surfaces, you'll have to be on the surfaces drop down surfaces revolve you can see now I have a lamp shade now there are many ways of making this but we're using the revolving tool today okay I could uh, potentially scale <clears throat> but I do want to break it away from the spline just like we did with the lamp so I'm going to select the lamp shade and go up to edit delete by type and history so now I can move or delete that spline and it will not affect my lamp. I may want to assign a new material to this. Maybe something shiny. And maybe I'll just choose a white for now. And that's it. This is how we created a lamp and a shade. Uh, give it a try everybody. And keep an eye out for my new videos on adding a good light to this situation. Okay, thanks. Bye.